A border battle has been quietly going on in the shadow of the pandemic. Immigration rights advocates claim the Trump administration is either blocking or sending back tens of thousands of migrants. And as CBS 2's Hermela Aragawi tells us, they say ICE is using the coronavirus outbreak as cover. But I think the administration believes they've found the silver bullet in the pandemic and that they can end all asylum now on the pretext that it's necessary for COVID. More than 100,000 migrants, including children, have been expelled from the U.S. since March, according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Immigration advocates say unlike most deportations, expulsions are swift. What they said is anybody now coming to the U.S. who doesn't have documents but seeking to apply for asylum, including little children, will no longer be able to apply and they'll be expelled without any hearings. ICE tells us hotels are sometimes used as temporary housing for these migrants. But according to the New York Times, more hotels, including big chains, have been working with ICE as expulsions spike in this pandemic. We're still trying to find out where all the hotels are and how many children are being held because everything's being done in secret. This Best Western Plus in LA's Chinatown was named in the Times article as holding migrants. But Best Western denies that. Hilton released a statement last month denouncing the practice after it confirmed a franchise location in McAllen, Texas, had a contract with a private company working on behalf of ICE. This is video from the Texas Civil Rights Project when one of their lawyers tried to enter that hotel. If you're detained, give me your name. Advocates say because the practice is done on private property with a private security company, it creates a shadow immigration system. Who's actually watching over these children? Some of them are very small. And what danger are they in from? Who's supervising them? And also the secrecy so that lawyers can't get to them. We reached out to ICE and they say they aren't able to comment because of pending litigation, but say the company that they contract with for security, MVM, is trained to keep minors safe. Hermel Aragawi, CBS 2 News.